44th birthday celebration event of Professor Ademu Abubakar Gwabizu, which held on 1st January 2022 at Bristol Palace Hotel, Kano. If you can wait and not get tired of waiting, there were presentation of gifts from many of the attendees to Professor Ademu Abubakar Gwabizu. If you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two the same, then you are rest assured to land somewhere. Somewhere great. On 1st January 1978, somewhere in Africa landed a storm, an embodiment of true humanity, an endorsement of a noble identity, an immortalization of a great magnanimity. Behold, Professor Ademu Abubakar Gwabizu, the president and founder of Maun, FBI Varsity, the founder of the Ademu Abubakar Gwabizu Foundation, the professor of leadership, the president of Association of African Private Universities, Professor of Literature, the Wazim in Hausa Wanturin, a man of true essence, value and sophistication, an architect of his empire, a facilitator of excellence, and a mirror to the hopeless. Humanitarians leave traces in the lives they have touched, traces that reflect and point a light in the future. First speaker, Professor Salau Mahmoud, Professor of Leadership, presented his goodwill messages. I'm a professor of leadership, international business, and entrepreneurship education. So, Mr. President, one more time, happy birthday, okay? You are the best. The MC of the event was Bala Muhammad Tukur, where he also entertains the audience and gave his goodwill messages as well. Vice Chancellors of several other universities also give their good wishes and messages, amongst which are Shehu Al Haj Musa, the Vice Chancellor of Kano University of Science and Technology, Wadil. Professor Gorfa, I think you should count yourself lucky and you should continue to appreciate God Almighty. It is not about how long you stayed on this earth, but it's about how much have you contributed to humanity. At the age of 44, for you to accomplish all that you have accomplished, there is nothing to say other than to say Alhamdulillah. Professor Senusi Mamman, the Vice Chancellor of Umar Musa Eradua University, Kastina State. Let me appreciate the legend, Professor Gorzo, you have done well. And I pray to Almighty Allah, Rabbi Samawati Wal Art, to grant you long life and prosperity to continue with the good work and may Allah continue to bestow on you and Mr. Farouk Omar Abubakar the Secretary General and Registrar of Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria uh, my presence here today is a clear testimony to celebrate a giant contribution in the health sector which Professor Adamo is making. Indeed, his contribution in the health sector is enormous in bringing the revolutions, especially on the challenges of health, manpower in this country. The President of the Iris is really, really very impressed by your parcours. Senator Bello Hayatou Gwabzo, Sankin Dawai Kimai Tuta, also gave his goodwill messages. Adam cannot be classified as education alone. He's a man. He's a man of humanity. He's a philanthropist. He is all around. Wherever he can touch your life, Adam will go to that extent. Professor Ahmed Maigami gave his presentation and good wishes. The birthday of one of our heroes, our leader. Our champion, our appeal marshal, in person of Professor Adam Abubakar Gwabizu. Dr. Abdullahi Musta Sufi, 
gave a brief history and activities of the Adamu Abu Bakar Gwanzo Foundation. We presented a paper on the role of philanthropy in terms of achieving sustainable development goals at the International Conference, and it received a lot of attention globally. We are receiving a lot of letters for collaboration, cooperation, and partnership. The CEO, Tubeless Photography, Muhammad Nasir Rabiu, presented a wonderful one-year documentary of Maun and Professor Adamu Abakar Gorzo's activities of the past year. Sponsored by the AAG Foundation and executed at Tubeless Makeup School. This was in its efforts to reduce the level of unemployment and encourage self-dependency, where he gifted 50,000 Naira to all the beneficiaries of the makeup training. The president of Maun gave some words of encouragement to the audience and advised against jealousy, saying that it's not a good virtue and should not be given a space to thrive. Finally, the event ended with a closing prayer by the Maun chief Imam, Muhammad Abu Bakr Muhammad. <laughs> Presented by Maun Press.